Hey y'all, Carl here. In this video, we're going to go over some exhaust pipe sizing basics. When you're piecing together a custom exhaust system from various components, it's important to understand how the industry sizes those components. Piping, mufflers, reducers, and tips are going to be sized differently from one another to ensure compatibility and fitment. What we'll discuss here is the difference between an OD measurement and an ID measurement and how the different components are sized and fitted to one another. Let's talk about piping. Most piping is going to be measured in OD dimensions. What OD stands for is outside diameter. So when you purchase a three inch exhaust pipe, if you run a tape measure across the pipe opening, it will measure three inches across. The pipe is designed to slip inside another component, most commonly a muffler. Next, we'll talk about mufflers and exhaust tips. These components are normally measured in ID dimensions, which stands for inner diameter. These components are designed to form what's known as a lap joint. So when you see a three inch muffler and a three inch exhaust pipe advertised, this will mean that the pipe will slide into the muffler opening. The lap joint is probably the easiest connection to deal with because it can be secured using a saddle clamp or the proper band clamp. You can also just weld the seam between the two components for a 100% leak-free seal. In some cases, you may need to connect two pipes, both being of the same outside diameter. In these situations, the two items cannot be slipped into one another to get that lap joint, and you instead are left with what's known as a butt joint, where the two components butt up against one another. To secure the butt joint, you will typically either use a band clamp or else weld it. For the novice, the band clamp is probably the easier option. However, we have a special welding clamp to assist you should you want to weld those pipes together. It has windows in it in order for you to place your tack welds. You then remove the clamp and weld the rest of the seam. There is a third option for securing a butt joint, and that option is to turn that butt joint into a lap joint using a tubing expander, which will do exactly what its name implies. It will enlarge the pipe opening so that the other pipe or collector reducer will fit inside it. We carry the tubing expander as well. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching.